I'm Kashinath. I take care of academics uh, as a national academic head at Zika. When I started uh, learning Photoshop, it was uh, version 5, which was very primitive when comparatively today's version. So I have somewhere around 15 plus years, I have seen it growing from 5 to CC, which is the latest version now. The amazing features which has been included now is makes this particular software very, very interesting and the students are loving this software. Any company we visit or I have seen my students working, they need Photoshop. So we make sure that every student at our academy learns Photoshop. At Zika, how we are different is when student comes here, they cannot visualize any particular thing. They completely come raw. So we start from the scratch. We start from the basic drawings. We start from the telling them how design functions, basics of designs and the principles of designs and we take them through the entire process and we make sure that they learn properly and uh, become professionals. They should be industry ready so that when they are moving out from here, they should get employed at good companies. Working on a project with a team spread over different cities, collaboration becomes a very difficult task. So in previous versions of Photoshop, we used to mail Photoshop files to each other. Time was going, uh, you know, just mailing to each other and discussing by email or phone. But with Photoshop CC, the creative process is going very smoothly. So the time which was uh, being spent on uh, mailing to each other has came down on a very large scale. My name is Mahan. I'm web designing and graphic faculty here at Zika. I have to deal with different kind of students, different variety of students. Like some of them want to do uh, digital painting, some of them want to create web layout. So how Photoshop helps is, in Photoshop there are many features which actually facilitate students to create uh, web design, so you can say matte paintings, digital paintings, like there is such one such feature that is content aware. So content aware option which allows you to basically eliminate a particular portion without using or without too much hustle actually. So you just have to make a selection and use content aware peel option, it will eliminate that particular object. And just like that there is another feature in Photoshop which is called photo merge. So photo merge, what photo merge does is you take a picture of particular location from different different angles and then you can combine those pictures together to form a panoramic image. So that's how like Photoshop has evolved. So in Creative Cloud what you have is you can export your web layout and then you can simply share that PSD file with your web designer. So what web designer will get is he'll get division tags, HTML color codes and everything. So basically he don't have to work more on the PSD or you don't have to work on the PSD. PSD itself converts it into a HTML format or a HTML code. So that's how CC helps me to basically convert my PSD to HTML5 layer.